Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Casey, and I'm the designer behind the indie sewing pattern company, Pattern Scout. If you buy your patterns online, you will have noticed that most, if not all, indie sewing pattern designers have their patterns available in a digital format as PDF patterns. And I wanted to share some tips today for purchasing, downloading, and printing your PDF patterns at home or with a copy shop. Now, I know some people are like totally not into the digital patterns, and I, I hear you. I understand that completely. Completely. I personally really like having the PDF patterns available because for me it allows me to get started immediately and I don't have to wait for a pattern to arrive in the mail. It also opens up a lot more variety in the patterns that are available to me because there are some indie pattern designers like myself who don't sell physical patterns in shops or they don't sell physical patterns at all on their website. And the reason that I do this is because it kind of keeps my overhead really low, to be completely honest. So I don't have to manage that inventory. It's really nice just to have those PDF patterns available to kind of get my products out to more people. So if you are not interested in downloading and printing PDF patterns, then this video is probably not for you. But if you are, I'm gonna walk you through the process to make it very seamless and get you sewing as quickly as possible. So when you go to my website and you click on one of my patterns, you will be taken to the pattern page where you can find all of the information about the pattern. Once you click add to cart, you can then go to your cart and you can see the pattern that you have there. And then you're gonna to wanna to click check out. When you go to check out, you'll enter all of your information to complete the order. And you also be able to enter any coupon codes that you have here and then you will complete the purchase. Your pattern purchase will be available immediately and you can download and print directly from the order confirmation page, but you'll also get an email with your order confirmation that also has links to the pattern purchase. Next, you just need to decide which files you actually wanna print. So the files are delivered in two formats. So you'll have the print at home files and those you can print actually on just a standard printer that you have in your home office. And then the other way that you're gonna get files is as a copy shop file. So I'm gonna go over printing at home first. Once you've decided which files you want to print, you'll just double click to open up those files and they will open up an Adobe Reader because these are PDFs. For all of the patterns, I include layers for each size. So that means that you can turn the sizes on and off that you don't need. And for example, if you're printing size 12, then you would just open up the layers panel that should be in the left side of the screen. And you would just hit the little eyeballs to turn off all the layers that you don't need. Once you're ready to print, you'll just go to file and scroll down to print. And that brings up the print dialog box. First, you're gonna type in the pages that you wanna print. If you are gonna print all the pages of the file, you'll just leave it at all. Then you'll go down to the section that is labeled page sizing and handling, and you're gonna select actual size because you want this to print out at 100% scale. You don't wanna do any scaling. You don't want it any bigger or any less because the file is already at the right size. Then under orientation, I like to click portrait instead of auto because if you click auto, then it's going to center the page information on the page. If you click portrait, it moves that page up to the top left corner and that way you now have a cutless PDF. So you don't have to trim the edges of your PDF and you can butt the edges up against the borders that I provided on the pattern layout. So once you have those settings complete, you'll hit print. Once you get your pages printed out, you are ready to start taping them together to create this large format sheet that has the pattern pieces on it. For each sheet, there is a little half circle on all four sides that you will match up with the sheet next to it. And those little bubbles have an alphanumeric designation that you can match the two bubbles against each other. So you'll just take the edge of your sheet and butt it up next to that little border and match up the little bubbles and tape the sheets together. And then once you have all of your pieces taped together and you have your pattern assembled, you can start cutting out and you can get started sewing your project. Now, if you decide to print with a copy shop, 
then you have a lot of options with that. So you can either print online with an online copy shop that will then mail you the prints that are on a large format piece of paper, or you can print locally with like a FedEx or a Staples or even a locally owned copy shop that does like architectural prints and that kind of thing. You just want someone that does large format printing. Most of the copy shop files are in AO format. And so AO is actually a European standard. And then that also will fit on a 36 by 48 inch piece of paper in the US. But if you are unsure what the size of the paper is that you need when you go to print your pattern online, there's a really easy way to figure that out. You're just gonna go up to file properties. And then if you look down at the bottom of that little dialog box, you'll see that the, the paper dimensions are listed and also the number of pages in that file will be listed. So once you've determined the number of sheets that you'll need, these online printing places have a place for you to upload the file and you'll just click on that. You'll navigate to where you have those files saved and you'll again, only print the things that you need so you can upload that to their site and you're good to go. I have two copy shops that I have used online to print the large format prints that I've been really happy with. And the first is Brooklyn Motif Printing. And I've actually partnered with Brooklyn Motif Printing for all of my patterns so that you can just go there, you can click on the pattern that you've bought, then they'll request that you enter a proof of purchase and the number of sheets that you need, and then you can purchase the large format prints that way. I also really love their paper. They have a paper that um, is slightly translucent, which is nice, I think, for when you're laying out your pattern pieces. And it's also a very sturdy paper, so it's gonna hold up to the test of time. But I really love Brooklyn Motif Printing, and they have been serving the online sewing community for a couple of years now, I think. Highly recommend them. Another printer that I used before I started using Brooklyn Motif Printing was pdfplotting.com. They're really affordable, actually. They're, they're a pretty affordable option, but they do have a minimum purchase amount. I will just print several patterns. Maybe I have patterns that I haven't printed at home yet. And I'm like, oh, I'll just go ahead and do like a batch print of several different patterns. That's one way to utilize that kind of minimum purchase. And I think it's only like 10 or $15 for a minimum purchase. It's not that crazy. But anyway, something to keep in mind. And the pattern that you'll get from pdfplotting.com is just like a regular paper. It feels a lot like the regular printer paper that you have at home. And it's just a larger format. So those are two options for having the PDFs printed and sent to you. Now, those are both US-based companies, but if you are looking for more options, depending on where you are in the world, Helen's Closet has an amazing resource for printing copy shop patterns. And there's a whole list, I'll share a link in the description below. There's a whole list of like places you can go worldwide to get patterns printed and shipped to you. So that is extremely helpful. And then once you place your order in a couple of days or up to a week maybe, you'll have your pattern and you are ready to get started. Okay, I think that is it. That is how you purchase, download, print, and assemble your PDF patterns and get sewing. I hope you found this helpful if you've had any questions about PDF printing in the past. And if there's anything that I didn't answer in this video, be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know and I'll be sure to get right on that. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more from me, please be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release new videos in the future. Okay, I think that's all I have for you today. I will see you in the next video. Bye. We'll also take you to your, oh, oh my God. So I also send another, so, uh, make my life a little easier. Okay. So once you get your pad, bleh, <laughs> padges.